Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. How exciting. I was a little torn about today's video because I couldn't decide if I wanted to show you all how to use the Kiss Quick Soak Off Nail Removal System or if I wanted to just fill these in, change the shape and color and keep it moving for another two weeks because I totally could. These nails still look good. But I did decide on using the KISS Quick Soak Kit. So I'm gonna show you guys how to soak off your nails very carefully and safely with hardly any damage using this kit. I'm kinda sad about it, but all good things come to an end. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Hey smileys, hey! Here's the dip powder nails that I've worn for about a month now. I did a fill in after two weeks and I managed to only break one of them because I'm a busybody, no surprise there. I do have videos on the initial set and on the fill in so be sure to check those out as well. The Kiss Quick Soak Off Removal System helps you to remove fake nails effortlessly. It also easily removes gel polish and glitter polish without damaging your natural nails. This kit comes with 20 foam pads and 10 soak off caps and a mini wooden orange stick. First, cut down the tips to your natural nail length. This way you don't have as much of the fake nail to remove. This one popped right off because it was already broken. I loved the look of these nails. They made my fingers look so long and slender, but I also understand that fake nails can be hard on your natural nails. First use a little bit of acetone or non-acetone polish remover and a cotton ball to remove any nail polish. This one is 100% acetone so it removes nail polish, gel polish, artificial nails, glitter polish which can be really tough to get off, and nail glue. Now that we've trimmed the nails and removed the polish, file the top surface of the nail to remove any remaining top coat or shine and here's what they look like. As I mentioned previously, the kit comes with 10 soak off caps, 20 foam pads, and a mini wooden orange stick. So first things first, soak the end of the foam pad with acetone. Artificial nails are removed by soaking them in acetone. Insert the saturated foam pad into the soak off cap, then place each finger inside the cap with the nail surface touching the foam pad and allow them to soak for about 10 minutes is what the instruction says. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. What I didn't realize is that the finger should be inserted with the SL faced up and the L caps are meant for thumbs and toes so I quickly corrected that. Also avoid using too much acetone as it will cause leaking. Use only enough to saturate one end of each foam pad. After 10 minutes, remove the caps and use the acetone to wipe away any remaining residue. You can repeat the soaking process if needed, but I didn't have to and I was really pleasantly surprised at how well it actually worked. Be sure to discard the foam pads after each use. They are not reusable. Finally, use a manicure stick to help remove any product residue. After that, the hard work is done and then I just go into basic nail care. Shape and file the natural nails. File gently to avoid any further damage. I usually do a square shape on my natural nails. Use a buffer to smooth out the surface. This removes ridges on the nail surface and buffing also promotes nail growth because it increases the blood circulation to the nail bed. It's great for natural nails and artificial nails. Then give your hands a quick wash and also clean your nails using a nail brush.
I also use a smoother file for finishing touches on the shape. This is a fine grit file which is ideal for natural nails while coarser files are designed for artificial nails and acrylics. Then I apply a clear OPI nail strengthener. Artificial nails can leave your natural nails thin, brittle, and a bit parched. Nail strengtheners improve the condition of your nails by offering protection and nourishment for stronger and healthier natural nails. They are particularly helpful if you constantly use fake nails and other nail products such as dip powders that weaken your nails over time. As usual, my final step, cuticle oil. Cuticle oil protects and nourishes the cuticle and heals dry, cracked cuticles. This cuticle oil contains safflower oil and vitamin E. It also has a delightful sweet fragrance and the applicator makes it easy to use just the right amount of product. Use about one drop of oil on each cuticle. It absorbs in about a minute and doesn't leave a greasy residue at all. I use this product daily and especially after a manicure. Just smooth a few drops on your cuticles and gently massage it in. So I absolutely love the look of artificial nails. If you're like me, a tip that can help reduce the damage is to give your nails a breather between sets and allow them to repair themselves. Maybe only wear them occasionally. When you're not wearing fake nails, a regular French tip manicure can leave your nails looking bomb as well. Thanks so much for watching Smiley's. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you like good vibes. See you in the next one. Mwah.